Hopefully this video will help you if your Netgear router has become bricked for some reason, uh, possibly as a firmware upgrade or something that's gone wrong. Um, so this is the, the model we're talking about, one with the uh, clear acrylic surround. Um, it's model number uh, WNR, uh, WNDR4500 version 2, although I suspect uh, this, this um, procedure probably applies to the other versions also. So you need um, a Torx 8, number 8 screwdriver to get the screws out and then separate the case. When you separate the case, be careful there's um, a small self-adhesive antenna that, that tends to get pulled, so be, be careful with that. Um, if you flip the board over, you'll see there's a, a connector on it, and that's uh, where you're going to connect your serial port into. Um, now, you're going to need either a, a USB to TTL serial port adapter, or like I've got, I've got a USB to uh, uh, RS-232 adapter, and then I've got a... Um, a separate RS-232 to TTL adapter. You're going to need to make um, three or four wire connections depending on uh, what type of converter you've got. If you've got a, a USB one you probably only need three. Um, if you need to um, power the uh, converter like I do then you'll need four wire connections. Pin one is on the left hand end here. Um, that's your supply so that's 3.3 volts. And then I can't remember which way around it is, it's either TX and RX or RX and TX and then finally at the end it's uh, the ground connection. Okay, so there's, there's only six positions, my, my header here is actually an eight-way header which is too many ways. Um, if you don't get any comms you'll need to swap the RX and the TX over. So that's one of the connections you need, the serial port. The other connection that you need, you need um, an Ethernet connector uh, connection in one of the LAN ports, not not the Ethernet, uh, sorry, the internet WAN port, but the LAN port or one of the four, and obviously the power supply. Be careful you don't short anything out while you're working on it. Um, and then on the computer, you're going to have connected obviously the the USB uh, lead for the serial port and the Ethernet connection um, to the Ethernet port on your computer. Now, you'll need a terminal program. I'm using TerraTerm, but uh, any of the, the standard serial port programs will do. And all you need to do is to uh, connect to the correct uh, serial port that you're using, um, the COM port number, and the board rate is 115K uh, board. Um, once you've got that connected, once you power up your router, if I switch off the router and switch it back on, you'll get the, the debug messages come out. It's quite slow to go through the whole lot, but uh, if you see um, readable text, then obviously you've got the connection right and the speed's correct. As I say, if you don't get anything up, then swap the RX and TX lines on the serial port. Now, you need to get into the control console. Uh, to do that, you need to hold down uh, control C on your keyboard um, and then repower the router, so just switch the, the power off and on. I won't do this again because I've just, just flashed the firmware once already. Um, and once you do that you'll find that uh, it'll come up with um, a CFE prompt on the screen and that will allow you to issue the NVRAM erase command and then it'll let, let you um, um, load the flash um, programming utility uh, and then you need to use the TFTT TFT2 uh, program, which is this program here, and that allows you to actually program the firmware in. Now, my experience was that it was slightly temperamental. The first time I tried it, it didn't work. I had to do it again. Um, if you don't see the progress bar going across when you click upgrade, then it's it's not working. Now, oh, I see it's just flicked over to the uh, browser now because it's going to try and use the Netgear Genie to do the, the setup but uh, we won't do that. So I'll go back to the terminal program. One thing to note, when you um, have typed the NV uh, RAM erase command, then when you type, now let me just see, I've got the other command we need here somewhere. Uh, just read my own notes. Yes, when you, when you type the flash minus no header space colon space flash one dot TRX command, um, you don't get long before it times out. So what I did is I <coughs> clicked on the upgrade, I selected the firmware file which I downloaded from the Netgear website 
um, clicked upgrade, then I went back uh, to the terminal program, typed in the, the um, flash command, um, the LED, the power LED, which unfortunately is on the, on the opposite side of the board is flashing, and that shows that it's ready to, to take a firmware upgrade. When I did that, the progress bar um, progresses, but as I say, the first time it didn't work. Um, it seemed to finish, but there was, there was no reboot uh, debug that came up. So I had to repower the router, and then I didn't have to type the commands into the serial port again. I just clicked on upgrade because the, the light was still flashing on the front of the router. Um, the progress bar went across, but this time um, it rebooted itself and, and, and the debug messages um, started coming up. And all the error messages that I had originally when I first powered it were gone. Um, and it takes quite a while to, to boot up the router. But once it did, it, it went straight into the um, uh, the Netgear Genie. In fact, no, that's not true. I needed to select the um, the Wi-Fi. Right, so I changed my Wi-Fi over to, to select the Netgear one, typed in the default password. Then it automatically went to the browser, to the Netgear Genie. Uh, and I think that basically allows you to... Let's see if I've got it here. Yeah, it asks you whether you want to, to set it up. And you can just go through the options. So that... Uh, unbricked um, my router so that was uh, rather successful so I shall put some details in the comments so that you can see exactly what I typed um, and what the settings were so hopefully this will help you uh, save yours